All right, welcome. I am so excited that you are here today. We're going to be solving the problem of how can you install little hooks uh, and an attempt to organize your grill utensils. Uh, so we're going to start off by looking at some basic supplies. I've got a drill with a drill bit that goes through metal and some super glue or some outdoor adhesive that is clear in color. I'll pop links down below for all this stuff. And we've got some out indoor coat racks. Uh, but these have been up for a good year and they do not rust whatsoever. Pretty cool, right? Uh, and we're basically going to be installing these. Now this grill edge, you can see already has pre-drilled holes. Lucky me. If you don't, you'll have to drill through that. And you can put a little rust inhibitor black or black spray paint, you know, to kind of uh, cover some of that bare metal. Now as far as the screws or the screws and nuts that you're going to use, uh, you can see these are just plain sc uh, screws with kind of uh, a pointed end to them, but the, the head of it is flat, so it allows the super glue to adhere. Now when you're selecting a location for your hooks, be careful you don't want to drill through uh, any of the attachment or any of the propane hoses or anything like that, so be sure to check really well. Don't even go close to the knobs over there. Stay on the shelves, so to speak, either the front or the back or the side. So, uh, as I was saying, you can take your drill bit and just blast through there. As for the size of the drill bit, I like to make sure it's about the same width of the screw that will be going through there. If it's too small, you're going to have a tough time getting the screw through that metal. But that's kind of a general rule. Now here is uh, a look at the screw. You want to make sure they all match if possible just for aesthetic purposes. We'll go ahead and you know put that through the hook, the hole in the hook. You could certainly do two screws per hook but one is adequate especially if you put super glue on it. So we'll go ahead and put a liberal application of super glue. I think I'm at the tail end of this bottle here but this stuff works pretty well. So we'll go ahead and do that and it basically kind of fits in like that and the super glue adheres it to your grill and you could put a nut on the in other end of it for extra strength no. you could also glue directly to the grill portion you could use outdoor adhesive the stuff's uh, bonds really well and is designed for outdoors so if you are in you know freezing yeah. have a lot of freezing thaw cycles that might be a better choice for you and you could put a nut on the end of the screw and tighten that down for extra extra strength so pretty pretty simple job i think and the coat hanger so to speak match the finish of the grill that nice stainless steel color and that's kind of how it looks. I've got four of them for utensils, and they are strong enough for sure. So kind of a nice do-it-yourself trick. We'll pop these babies on so you can see how that looks. And pretty much call it good. We will stop the video there and hopefully this has helped you out. If it has, be sure to click that like button and subscribe to the channel for do more do-it-yourself videos, uh, tips, projects around the house, things like that. Try to push out videos every week or so. So thanks for being with me.